Uh, I don't want to skip the characters because I want to get skills, right? I guess yes. let's, fi let's find out if skipping character history lets you pick the options or... I don't imagine. I it don't think it right? does. Yeah, it doesn't, because that's the way it worked in the first game. Wouldn't that have to just be like 100% downsides then? You just don't get anything? I think it just gives you a random selection. Ew. Or like the default, yeah. maybe. Yeah. Maybe I should try Stamina, nice... I think that gives you health, like you, you said. I don't know what bulk up in mass does. Maybe defense... Improve your footwork I, gave you agility, and strength obviously will give you strength. Yeah, I feel like I should get strength if I want to be a punchy man, and then maybe we really can just just drop people. Yeah, give that a try. Uh, oh, right, I didn't read this one. Your explosives. We started doing more push-ups and using animal carcasses as punching bags. That's uh, a local butcher where you worked part-time. You climbed fire escape ladders instead of doing using stairs and so on. You managed to increase your strength a couple level with a couple of levels in the end. Uh You're doing all right, farts. Blah blah blah, you got a repetition. <laughs> Offense. Accuracy, maybe, actually? Uh that'll you yeah, I mean miss. that might Yeah, that will make it so you don't miss uh, assuming. Otherwise anytime you yeah, miss, I mean, it's just like you lose. So wait, I guess. this is this is the one that gave you different abilities, I think. Yeah, it gave me uh, bob, and weave. bob and weave, which takes a turn in battle. So maybe having just a specialization in something else, maybe we'll either get a better ability that we could use. Because remember, I think there was one we had the character that could attack twice um, in the first game, and that didn't cost a turn to use. So maybe. My some yeah. of these are better than others. My struggle oftentimes with JRPG style combat is that any kind of buff that takes a whole turn to cast for that character often feels shittier than just attacking. <laughs> yeah. It's like how like it's like how I guess what I want to play, I guess what I'm thinking of is Pokemon basically. It's like do you just you just pick the character that has the right elemental uh strength against the opponent and then you just attack every time and like Every other but every other button feels just useless, and then you just beat the game, and it's easy. And you're like, well, what? Why? Did, what are all the other weird skills for that aren't just hitting somebody really hard? And in a game like mm. this, at one turn of not hitting can make you die. So the idea of of casting a buff, I inherently don't really want to use any of these. Yeah. So just try out accuracy then, see what it does. Let's. Mm. Either that or defense. Those are the two that I see. I mean, I guess maybe offense I'm might do of, something interesting. Honestly, like, I'm looking at these, and the one that I'm that seems the most helpful is evasion, because it's the one where if you are, if you think you're specifically in trouble, then one that can help you avoid hits altogether for a while seems like your best chance. Yeah. Otherwise, why just, are you? Otherwise, I'm probably not lasts, desperate enough to be using an ability. Yeah, but the question is, do they all give you abilities that cost turns? Because as as we know from the first game. That's there the was best we that can guess like on our sample size of one stance. data point. Yeah. I don't know. Offense. Let's find out if it's a skill or not. Adrenaline rush. Yeah, they're all they're all skills. Yeah. His methods proved effective. Soon you soon you had your first real bout in the ring, and won the match with relative ease. Your sister and Ricardo were there to congratulate you. I think this is the same. Yeah. Okay, that's the same as before. kept it inside, but we don't have repressed trauma, the skill. <laughs> what do we get for fleeing the country? We got escape plan. Which seems good for a game like this, even though it hasn't worked so far. <laughs> yeah. I do... Being able to run away is, was a, a very vital thing last game, at least. Yeah. I don't feel a reason. I don't feel a re reason to change this yet. We haven't. It hasn't even come up yet. <laughs> if the intro, yes. You wake up suddenly. Was it all a dream? You can't skip this. Uh, look intro. at look at your skills. I want to see something with them. So look, adrenaline rush is passive. 
The longer the combat goes on, the stronger you get as your blood boils even hotter. So that seems pretty good. So I just get stronger every turn? Yeah, I think you just inherently get stronger every turn. I don't know, it doesn't say that it's passive. I just kind of wonder if it's maybe just not a button I can use now. Possibly. But all the others were, were blacked out before when we looked at it, so... Yeah, the question is whether or not it's blacked out during combat. Yeah, oh, I guess that's true. We'll have to check. Bullets. Man, saving passing time is just mean. <laughs> Just five shillings, that's better than, than that is, what we had before. Don't forget the map. Yep. <laughs> I guess, why do you save in this? Or why would you rest in this game? Does, does it also heal you? Uh, I don't know if it heals you in this game. Maybe. I'll be on my way. That's the skip the oh, conversation shit. option. Okay. Nice. The quick short, the quick start. I wonder if that's, I, I, I imagine it might be built for you to not have to talk to everyone in, in order to do stuff later with them. Just because uh, it feels like that, that bit of Majora's Mask stuff where like, these the very are... starting conversation is all just like planting the seeds. Well, I, I just mean like they're they themselves are like these NPCs stuck in a loop, and so at some point, just, yeah, it becomes this thing like also like Forgotten City, where it's just like it's just yeah. at some point it's just mean to like force the player to have, ever have yeah. to repeat the same shit over and over and over again like that. I'm seriously wondering if you should even have a knife equipped because you do so much more damage without it. I didn't actually become a uh, pugilist this time still, right? I never got that ability again. Uh, I don't think you got the bare-fisted proficiency that we saw on the skill screen. Yeah. But you still attack twice, which it may means you double your damage without the weapon equipped. Maybe. Does it straight up just say that it makes my, me do less damage? No. No. But just the bonus Because it's attack, telling you... you it, well, the thing is, is that you'll do more damage per turn with the knife or per attack with the knife, but you only do one attack with the knife, it seemed. Whereas with your fists, you did two. I noticed when you fought him. I'm so I think- her at this point. Yeah. Although I wonder how that, <laughs> how that combines with gun guy later. Or the just he... gets shot and killed yeah. right here. <laughs> although is he even there during the day? Now we're here during the day. Do you, am I bothering you? Am I bothering you when I just fight you like this? Talk to like her this? to see if she has anything different to say, like, on this map. Uh, okay. <laughs> also, you didn't explore the city, so or the, the area near the woodsman, so there's a ton of good stuff down there that we just left. Yeah, but I was trying to follow her because she was leaving. But yeah. Also, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna lose my entire mind if I have to pour through every single part of this town every time I then just die again because I can't save like I'm I don't even know what my goal is yeah. or where I'm trying to go I'm not grabbing everything I'll lose my entire I'll, I can't your, your goal is to get that. all the items dude that's how the game works I cannot <laughs> spend no that's insane that's insane to spend 45 <laughs> minutes grabbing everything then to die to an unrelated reason before I even knew what's happening you, over you, don't need, again. you don't need to grab everything you just gotta grab the quick stuff on like, that at first some point, screen like like the comments are wrong and stupid and, and bad people <laughs> like, sure 100 percent you need to probe through and keep trial and erroring and figure out what the fuck the environment is and what's happening and where you even want to try to go and then you can start doing the insane things like I'm gonna pick up all these items everywhere because like right now I can't even save to make myself not have to make my character every single run like because sure. that makes the time go forward so like I'm not gonna do all that skip all through that dialogue also grab every single item and then still not be able to save so then I just died to like a dog <laughs> that jump scares us or a guy that shoots me with a gun and then sure. I have to do all of that again for 20 minutes I will I'm, I can't do that that's, ins but that's you don't but what I'm saying is you don't need to go grab everything you don't need to go through all the rooms just on that starting screen there were like five or six herbs and two mushrooms you could have grabbed which ones I don't know what you mean 
in that little first the first I area why i don't know like, why one spot matters more suddenly or something because um, you do, before you leave the map your hunger doesn't start decreasing yeah but i don't care about the like, in-game clock i care about my real life clock where i'm, gonna, yeah, I'm losing my mind from the repetition of like, doing stuff that many times over and over again without ever knowing if it'll ever pay off and i'll die to an unrelated thing anyway i've never used a no, single item but it will always yet. pay off because they're healing items it's, it will, takes it, two it minutes. will not pay <laughs> off because i've never used a single item yet and it's been two hours <laughs> But it will, and I've just started over on. for the sixth time or something, <laughs> having never reused an item ever. The zero payoff that makes it's a it waste will, of though, time. Having so all of them, it's good now we're for get... your run where you think you're gonna try to make it anywhere. But I'm still yeah, trying to learn gonna... what anything is or what's happening, and I just keep we're dying get... without any of that mattering. We're gonna get three hours into the game, and you're gonna be like, "Damn, I need I need I, a green herb I, because I'm you, infected." If you're that, if you feel that strongly about it, you will be the one playing this game. I am not, 100 percent not redoing the same ten minutes of bullshit every time just to get like shot by an off-screen enemy or fall in a well or get decapitated by the woodsman again the same way, having none of the items matter. It's well, you don't need to go near the. Don't go near the woodsman. I'm saying just search the barrels right fucking when there. When I go <laughs> check out this new place, I'll just die to something else I never knew about before I have a chance to learn or do anything about it, and then I have to react retroactively to have having already died with still having <laughs> never saved a single time in the entire playthrough. So I have to get to make make my new character again. <laughs> These are all. You're gonna need to say. I'm what I'm saying on, is, you're gonna need to save some sand, time. Yes, and when I'm pre when I think I'm gonna save, then I can start thinking about in that run about like that stuff. But like, we're not there yet. I'm still like <laughs> sure, one. I'm I still guess. in 100% the territory of I'm gonna die one screen from where I started, and then have to make a new character again. <laughs> and none of the none of the other busy work will have mattered again for the sixth time. I think it'll be fine. It won't. I think you get one. I think you get one you're safety you're, save you're as well. You're ignoring pattern recognition, and also that's I'm just you, that's also you just making shit up based on nothing. Why would this game no, be forgiving? I'm, I think that we got one first safety save because he literally said you just talked to everyone, didn't you? And then when we went outside, it was still daylight. That just means the save doesn't skip all the way to nighttime. Yeah, well, I think that you get. People have moved. Anyway, I'm doing dialogue now. Yeah. The man is crying hysterically. <laughs> he has scratch marks all over him. The skin is hanging loose from his cheekbones. What's going on here? What? What? The moon scorched. The moon scorched. We are the ones who survived. Cool. <laughs> I gouged my eyes out, but I still see the green hue. That color out of space. Green hue? It devours everything. We can't just quit. We tried it, but it won't stop. Meat pie. Is that the girl again? No, it's not. I don't think it is. The person's barely alive. You can already hear death rattle coming coming from him. Loot him. Is the death rattle a specific thing we're known for getting? Two shillings. I'm a good person. The blood's all dried up. It's a big crate. You can really, you can, you can really open it without better tools. <laughs> I think it's meant to say you can't really open yes, it without better no. tools. Yeah. <laughs> the flickering light of the bonfire soothes you, despite the horrors waiting you outside. But I think those might be dangerous. All right, well, I don't love the idea of walking behind this blind spot behind the buildings when there's bear traps visibly around. <laughs> I don't love that implication. The alligator seems to be struck, uh, stuck from the side. Hey, boy, do I not trust that. Hmm. Things are unwell in this entire direction. It burns. Yeah. Burns cold. What's going on here? The moon scorched this land. It scorched us too. Not Intriguing. What you, you, not what you usually think a, sun, a moon does. A vault? It's an old rusty hatch here. It's too dark down there. You cannot see anything but darkness. 
<laughs> it opens though. What could go wrong? It seems to be some kind of tunnel going deep underground. I can see mm -hmm. fine down here. You lied to me. Toolbox has chalk, so I can then do a circle probably. Yeah. Smell the barrel. The smell is neutral? No idea what the liquid what the liquid is based on that. Hello. Is this a texture that should nope. So I am hungry, and I don't think I have oh, I do have food. Right, the meat pies and stuff. Delicious egg. A little less hungry. Not that much less hungry. This is food? Yes, Sought after uh, edible mushroom. mushroom. They're really good, its actually. delicious taste is often referenced as ch chanterelle dreams, Amanita nightmares. Huh. A wee bit less hungry. Shelves are full of spare parts for different machinery. You can get bolts. Good for a certain character. Did I say duct tape? Yeah. So it's <laughs> brand name. There are electric... There's electric panel here. You don't really know what to do with it. Force it open with my giant muscles. Uh -uh. Yeah, see, so you attack twice with your fists. That's why I was able to punch that guy's dick clean off. My primary accomplishment in that fight. Okay, so there's a horrible cosmic horror village full of naked people with their eyes gouged out and weird vaults and coffins. Itchy. Itchy. I scratch and scratch and scratch and scratch and scratch. Cold light that burns. What cold light? You are the same. You'll see. You'll come to understand. It's crawling under my skin. These wounds that will not heal. <laughs> What's going on here? Crawling. Fear is how I fold. Is this guy an attacky boy? Because he, he does walk. Yes. Uh, I don't like that. A man runs straight at you with an obvious killing intent. Even the flayed skin hanging on his waist doesn't seem to slow him down. Ew. Censorship fling. <laughs> I'm ready to defend myself, just so you know. Yeah. The moon scorch is clearly out for blood. Interesting. Um, beat up his head. Well, <laughs> that's a good start. I'm Oop, infected. You're infected. Yep. Mm -hmm. Rev up increases your attack, which is great for my ability to miss attacks. Um. <laughs> oh my god. Uh. All right. <laughs> We're off to a good start here. And I doubt running is going to work either, but... Ah! Yeah. Well, you escaped, but you are going to die now. <laughs> so... Yeah, but uh, those are, these are dead runs anyway. Yeah. We can at least look around a bit more. Alright. Either that guy is real tough, or uh, unarmed may not be a great plan. Oh, I don't think I can go behind this building anyway. I don't think unarmed is the issue there. I think if you hit him, you would have you would have won. But I think you just don't have the accuracy for it. So maybe that is what the the accuracy choice is for is for uh, something that that increases your accuracy to make you more lethal. Yeah, it'd be helpful to know whether or not they are going to be skills or passives or what, because I have no idea what to base the choice on. I guess if you if you go into go into combat again and then just look at your abilities, did you notice if adrenaline rush was a skill or a passive? I didn't. Chained up coffin. The chains seem reinforced and really difficult to open up. Difficult. Difficult. Not on the coffin. <laughs> no reaction. You can't hear anything from inside. This is very Yarnum. Yes.
going into a combat in a way that won't instantly end this run. Yeah, it's yeah, passive. Adre so Adrenaline Run's passive. Okay. So it does mean that some of them, it might give you passive abilities yeah. that are better than... It's a weird choice split where some of them are just passives and some of them aren't. It's like, I would like to just always evade better. <laughs> why, does, why does the evasion guy have to be a specific skill you use sometimes, but other people get to just always be better or something? Shotgun shell. All sorts of boxes around here. Right over a train. Okay. So there's more of these guys around. I got it. Get stuck a bit. <laughs> hey, guy. Oh. Are you the mask? Are you the mask shop man? Yeah, he's the happy mask salesman. Wretched the being. dark corner of the unwanted and undesired, where they dump the diseased, stillborn, and now the moon scorched. Welcome, oh fresh one. Welcome to the shit pit of Prehevel. Nice decoration you have here. Under the ever watching eye of the dead. I want more, though. Oh. I want the one who swiped half the town down. The woodsman. Oh. Then I want the one who condemned us down here. I want the filthy priest. I'll see what I can do. Show no remorse. Let their blood flow. Three additions leftovers. Considering the place, you're not entirely sure what the origin is of the fleshy meat. A wall of severed heads. That seemed to be varying in states of rot. The earliest heads looked several weeks old, while the most recent ones seemed to be freshly cut. So he wants. The, so here's your incentive to kill the woodsman. Built in. <sighs> What's going on here? Leave me be. Just leave. What if you didn't notice me? Wouldn't that be cool? Uh oh. Wait, that's a dead end, isn't it? No. Okay. Uh. Mm, mm. Oh. Okay. I think this is. I think. The, <laughs> I think the thing on the left is a walkway and not. Uh, and not a wall. Yes. But, but at a glance, it's hard to tell where the I fuck you really need to go here. There we go. What could go wrong? It's a spike trap. You explode. Ah, rusty pipe. Rusty pipe. Nice. That's probably good for my strength. Probably. Shotgun. So it's... your benchmark is 270 damage, is about how much you're doing per turn now. So, if you can hit. It's so hard to tell where you can go. Oh my god. Uh, some way to get up. That's not a ladder, right? No. I mean, a staircase. No. Uh, where, where can I go? Up. Around here. Just look at me. Just look at me. Deflated lip. Hanging eyelid. Comb my face. Oh. Mm. Maybe you can go to the left right there into that doorway. Is that a doorway that's accessible? No. Nothing really seems accessible right now. Okay. Oh, damn it. I did not mean to go up at all when I went there. Well, fuck me. Is this the reporter? Hi, I'm doing well. It's you. What the hell is going on in this town? What do you mean? What? You must have seen the shape these slums are in. The shape the people are in? This scoop just became a lot bigger. I have to be careful. What I wish for in the future. What do you know about this scoop? I have my connections to different organizations and groups. One of the resistance groups against the Brahmin army tipped me that something was about to go down here in Prehevel. Apparently there's a very specific reason why Brahmin army occupied this area. I wasn't informed about anything else, really. I can't believe I wasn't even warned about this place. That guy will have a hell... a hell to pay once I get back to civilization. 
Were you headed to that city? I was, but I'm not sure what to do now. My guess is the city won't be that much better either. What do we do now? We don't do anything. I work alone. I have a scoop to investigate. Now the stakes just got higher. That's all. It won't be safe alone. Are you worried about me or yourself? I mean, in this situation, I think it's obvious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry, but you'd be a lot safer if you just returned to the train. You still focused on that? Hey, I, I wouldn't get anything done if I ran back home with my tail between my legs every time things escalated. This is nothing. I've seen way worse. A booby trap. So I'm doing well. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm pretty good at the mo. One body. <laughs> Healing. Uh, body heal. St oh, minus state of infection. Yeah, but you only can, yeah. Intensifies the, intensifies other herbs, less fear, blue herb. Red herbs mix with other herbs, so you, you'll use them to increase the potency of, of blue herbs, Resident Evil style. But I think probably only the botanist can I have craft, no recipes. or maybe you have to go to a crafting menu. Yeah, Yeah, I don't, I don't seem to have recipes, so I guess I can't do it yet, I don't think. Yeah, it's just user discard. I don't think I can currently use a beer. Mind heal. Fair. <laughs> Mine's doing okay, though. You see footprints in the thick layer of dust. Oh, I thought the chairs were moving, but they just kind of wobble because they the Hanna-Barbera effect. The hallway's been blocked by all this random junk. Let's not walk into that, if I can. <laughs> Okay, so this is not the same house from earlier. It looked from. This must be the television yeah. room. Yeah. Power room's focused on the television set. Too bad it's useless because of the lack of electricity. A bloody bowl, typical of every television room. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's, that's good. Dusty radio receiver, switch it on. Doesn't work because of the whole electricity thing we what, what we've established and whatnot. A thing in the wardrobe. Dirty laundry. The stains... The stains are there for good. No amount of scrubbing will clean these plates. Dirty laundry? Yeah, I don't know why it says laundry. <laughs> Dirty investi- Ew. Dirty water with a white vial. What's a white vial do? Uh, white vial is a crafting Anti -puking. component. puking Yeah. It gets rid of purple bubbles and more purple bubbles. <laughs> yeah. It's antidote, basically, but you can mix it with others, I think, to make different stuff. Look at the plus state for heroin. I guess that's when you're high or something. Yeah. Unless well, it increases withdraws. mind, I think, as well. Let's see. A vial full of yellow colored mucus. The smell is very salty, but it might just be edible. Ah! <laughs> I don't think I'm trusting that one, honestly. <laughs> oh, it's a landmine. It's made of a landmine, but it's just kind of a... Ugh. So this says duct tape. But didn't I pick it up and it said duct tape? Did I imagine that? No, it definitely said duct tape when you picked it up. Yeah. I'm like, hang on a, a fucking minute. Uh, well, at least I'll die not hungry, you know? That's important. Wow, meat pie fills you up. Much better than mushy mush. Huh, huh, huh. I don't want to leave this dialogue right now. <laughs> they caught up and pulled out guns. Okay, so that guy with the hook is a, he's like a splicer type. He's just kind of around. That's a recurring dude. We've this is our second time seeing both of these characters. I can't run very well right now. <laughs> I, I don't. I don't love my chances at the moment, but we'll, we'll try running. You never know. Wow, I'm so good at this. Fuck. <laughs> I'm completely trapped right here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what if I talk to him? Maybe you'll like, you know. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Oh. 
I'm sorry, but everyone must die. What are you talking about? The great trickster. He demands this. You must have heard him too. Dialogue, ow. <laughs> well, <laughs> I lived for a few seconds longer because we had a fun little chat. That's nice. That's humanizing. Yeah. Next time we'll try to see if we can escalate to like a hug. <laughs> Ow. So I, I, we found, we got to discover some things in that direction this time. That's yeah. At least there's that. We're back. Against it's all odds. It's time, baby. Everyone Let's tried go. to stop us, but they couldn't. Uh, I feel like I don't remember if I commented on this. I thought about it the whole time we were talking on the start screen last time, or at the beginning, but I don't think I ever pointed it out. Like, there's just like a, a king in yellow thing going on here, which I think was also one of the boss fights last game. It was and the it, ending. So one of the endings has Lagarde become the yellow emperor or yeah, whatever. In addition to the Majora's um, Mask thing. Yeah, so I think maybe in this timeline he's still alive. I do know, oh. so I, I haven't really looked into it, but I know that apparently, like, the the canon ending of Fear and Hunger 1 is actually, like, an amalgamation of all of the endings. Yeah. So, uh, so, you know, maybe there's some little bit of truth in it, um, for for everyone else uh or or for the for all of the endings that uh kind of makes the story make a little bit more sense i raised it th th i wanted to skip the intro but i didn't want to uh I, I, like I, I realized like oh crap i clicked on the option that means i have to make a whole character and pick their skills again which takes forever <laughs> and then realized like oh shit uh i can't leave <laughs> no button seems to go back from that menu so i just quit yeah Everyone, everyone got a, a look at my at my furry wallpaper again. That's the special Easter egg. Every time I have to quit a game ever, it's like which furry wallpaper is on right now, because it's set to rotate. Yeah, I just use game capture for everything. I use game capture normally, but some of these indie games and basically every visual novel usually doesn't like it and needs display yeah. capture. Like this game didn't pick up on game capture, so I just just I just let it switch to display. And it's like a fun little, for like a fun little thing to me. Sometimes it's like, what's what what surprise visual is gonna pop up? Oop, there you go. But anyway, now we need to iterate on our past mistakes. I hate dialogue. Go away. I'm an antisocial JoJo's. I do want to point out that something really interesting is happening here. Which may maybe this maybe is almost too obvious to point out. Akin to I need to turn this down a little bit. Akin, this might be a little too obvious, akin to like the coming in the yellow the yellow king guy or whatever. But like, mm -hmm. what I find interesting is that uh, the theming of this game, being Majora's Mask, has a deeper significance than just like, hey, remember Majora's Mask or whatever. Because th what happened is that they essentially seem to have made. A gameplay loop and overall structure that's built around this idea of of like starting over runs and looping through these three days and whatnot, like Majora's Mask, because like yep. But they but they did that in response to how you would have inevitably played the first game as like a series of runs where you just have to keep going back and try to find the correct route through these three days, but not it wasn't three yes. days back then and so on. But like, what's interesting is that. As far as we know so far, because I could be wrong, uh, I don't necessarily think that we have a three-day schedule that you can then reset or whatever, like Link does. Because specifically in Majora's Mask, the world has a three-day arc that ends badly and all that, but it doesn't... It only ends badly for everyone else. You just reset it yourself and you just keep looping over and over again trying to find the, the, the exit out of that. But I yes. think in this, if it's like the previous game, the looping is actually just done on our end via save scumming because you're just trying to find the best route through those three days. But what's function, what what is from your character's perspective, the first day essentially, or the first time through it. But like the parallels there are yeah. very are interesting to me. Yeah. No. I mean, it seems very clearly inspired by the fact that like 
I mean, your your the gameplay economy here is very much focused on this idea of you will die, so move forward. And yeah. like you just have to constantly redo the same few things and like characters seem to have like a little schedule like we know right from the start Karen always walks up from here and like Tanaka always walks left and like the woodsman will always attack the guy on that screen. So it's like you start yeah. developing a little schedule we're gonna and keep, I wonder we're going to keep sprinting out of this place and being and seeing the same familiar NPCs doing the same familiar thing each time akin to like like run the little run. Like just like, yeah. oh, this time we're gonna try going this way. Oh, the dog chased me on the stairs. Oh, the run the little run's weird because it, the loops aren't, aren't the same before she makes different choices. Which is an odd element of <laughs> an odd element of, of run the little run. Beep! Beep! So he's not here when we bring Karen here though, because she goes up there, doesn't she? Uh, she went across the bridge and to the right. I'm not 100% gotcha. sure if she just didn't aggro him or if he genuinely isn't there at the same time. Yeah, I wonder. Wait, one we way saw another, him at though, night. We definitely have just... At this point, I'm like scout, I'm trying to scout deeper and deeper, essentially. Like, I want to go yeah. deeper into the into the uh, Bloodborne expansion town and try to figure out how to... Uh, figure out what the extent of that place is if I don't get trapped in that corner and die. But there's also just, like, I, I can go... Uh, left earlier and I can also go like left at the beginning to go back to the, yeah. the woodsman so it's like we need to like push out and just kind of find the extent of the world for a bit yeah and see what we can learn shoot shoot the water Keith shoot the water a bunch see what happens with my gun that I don't have you mean I was I was making a joke about Resident oh, Evil. Oh, Resident Evil Four. Yeah, you know the game that just came out. Yeah, the good video one, games. Like a month and a half ago. Remember when that happened? I. It's been a while. That game's a while ago. Been about two months. It's been, that game's old. That game's pretty old. Came out March. That's that's March was four months ago. <laughs> Mar March was yesterday. It's fine. <laughs> I was gonna say like that that playthrough was like more than twenty episodes, and it was only coming out twice a week, so it it went for a while, and it's been gone for a while. I don't th I don't think it's that recent. Elevator stuck. So this is where the that's the vault door. I had left through here. Turnip. There's a bad guy that I don't want to deal with. I jump down. Can't do that. Bad guy. Heads. So down here was a dead end, I believe. So I think I want to go left. Possibly, yes. Oh my god, he didn't see me. <laughs> yeah, so you can stealth by enemies. That's something that we learned from the first game. Yeah, I just didn't expect it to work out. <laughs> <laughs> you got another rotten meat, that's good. I'm used to stealth systems being more punishing. Mm -hmm. So I, I guess I guess I guess I need to get in the headspace of like this game working like Pokemon, basically, as far as stealth systems go. A little bit. How'd she get in front of us? This is a cheating. How She's dare just you, really Karen? good at this. What do you mean? Something very bad. The locals, did you get attacked too? Yes, but not in this timeline. I'm just glad I took my pistol with me. This scoop just became a lot bigger. I have to be careful what I wish for in the future. Alright then. You go girl boss and whatnot. Uh, I crucially have my legs this time, so I'm doing much better than last time when I got here. <laughs> As just like last game, most of the time the answer is just to not ever have a fight. Yeah. At all costs. Ooh, do you, I did take a look at the speed runs of this game, or I guess maybe not speed runs, but just yeah, I think they were speed runs. Just to spot them. And I did notice that last game they were two hours long, and this game they're three hours long. Oh, so there's more to do. Interesting. But I don't know what they do, entail. 
Okay, so this here, here's where I got stuck and died last time. Maybe if I maybe if I don't run, they'll notice me slower. Okay, further than ever, further than we've ever seen. That's a dead horse. Why is the horse censored? Did it's they have to censor? Butthole. Did they have to censor the horse's butthole? Is that what the implication it's, it's is? It's got a big ah! donut, dude. No. Can you leave. What if he just no? Go away, hook man. Uh, so dialogue's in this a lot. So I guess maybe if you have a persuasion skill, this might work better for you. Or yeah. Something. Okay, I think I solved the mystery why the volumes. Are, yeah, this game's too loud. I gotta turn it down. I think I solved the, the solved the mystery that's not very not very deep of why all my volume stuff is different today than yesterday, because uh, I was wearing those shitty ass headphones while I waited for my replacements to arrive, and just forgot <laughs> oh, about that change. I forgot. Yeah, I forgot you had you needed replacements. Interesting. Yeah. What's going on here? Your words are in vain. I get, yeah, maybe some of these people can be stop to, convinced to not fight you on some characters that have the charming abilities. Yeah. Yeah, Otherwise, definitely. you seem pretty screwed. Wow, this is way louder than yesterday. Damn. God, the music is so good. <laughs> yeah. It's, go. Oh, it's so great. All right, so I have no abilities, really. So I just I attack or run. And I think he's in my way. I think he might be blocking the gate, so I can't get away. So I think I need to fight yep. him. Yep. Let's see what I can do against his arm. It's gone. He's armless. He sets a bear trap. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's different. Uh, yeah, that is different. I feel like I shouldn't attack him. Yeah, adrenaline rush is a passive thing. We don't longer have yep. the, the, our evasion thing. Uh, but I feel like attacking would be a very bad idea right now. I feel like I'm gonna Let's walk into that. See if you can attack that. the bear trap specifically. You can. You can. There we go. Okay, that's good. Yeah, his other arm, for sure. Or his head. Oh no. Our head's just hard to hit. Wait, he's not yes. really doing anything? Well, now you're never setting a bear- How do you set a bear trap with one hand? That's- he was committed. Alright. I don't know if he can fight back anymore. Oh! Eh. Okay. I won nice. my first fight ever in hour You did it. Uh hour three or four of the game. <laughs> Marco was victorious. Technically I can delete all the other footage and just start with this. Since it starts at the beginning of the game. The hay has been left at the mercies of the weather for way too long. It's all rotten. The monstrosity is down. That's a lot of options this time. I guess maybe with, with like necromancy and stuff like that, you probably just, it's probably just on this list now, as opposed to yeah. whatever. Oh, it keeps going. <laughs> wow. Search <laughs> a sickle. How good is a sickle? It's better. How nice. That by 15. I'm pretty sickle your shit. All right. <laughs> oh, yeah, great. <laughs> So yeah, I think the, the horse uh, I, must have a big booty. A dead body seems to be in a relatively fresh state of decomposition. It's hard to make sure of, of the cause of death. There's not much physical trauma present. Maybe he suffered a heart attack or died because of some other disease or poison? That's the... it's, it's, it's the... Uh, it's the oh, ex-soldier. He's dead already. <laughs> There's something bulging in his pocket. Feel it. <gasps> It's a small booklet rolled up. Soldier's Diary 1. Oh. Read it. Well, it's at least a, it's at least a soldier. <clears throat> what backwater parts these dark corners of Earth really are. When I heard about this assignment, I figured the city of Preheva was just at least decent size, and there'd surely be some entertainment to be had with the local dancers and street girls. But alas, I'm not too keen on getting too that comfy with the locals after sightseeing the city a bit. Frankly, I'm baffled at how a city of this size has managed to stay so isolated from the neighboring influences in modern times. The Prehavel folk still hold on tightly to religious rites, 
as old as the fellowship itself. The human sacrifice has creeped me out in this day and age. Even if I've seen the horrors of war, the crucifixes set around the city managed to send a chill down my spine. Hmm. Well, I mean, we knew that the the religions in this in this world were like kind of messed up still, um, and especially if Lagarde is still alive as the Yellow Emperor, which is what it seems like going by the title screen. Yeah. Uh, then certainly <laughs> things will be a little weird. Inspecting gives you nothing on the horse. They get no context. Are his are his legs tied together? Yes. What's going on with this horse? They try to string it up in the tree and like bleed it. Uh, yeah, probably. Doop -doop. Just amused by the censorship because it's, it's rarely does it rarely is it ever taken for account that you need to like account for the uh, a horse's modesty. Or <laughs> do a simple lock lock picking. What a cool ability to have! A striking smell of mold fills the damp cottage. Wheat flour. I got two separate wheat flowers. <clears throat> it's impressive that there's rotting meat everywhere. But, oh. <laughs> <laughs> that is so cool. It's like neat little like just effect. It's twice now that something has just fallen over. It's really it's really unnerving. <laughs> <laughs> is there, this is just such a still game. It's misty outside. It seems to get even thicker than before. An empty bucket, an empty suitcase. You're starting to see a pattern here. Oh, I'm not that much of a pattern. Plenty of things aren't empty. <clears throat> Shotgun! Written in blood. Arm yourself. The Festival of Termina. The Festival of Blood is upon us. Take the rifle? Yes, I'm sure nothing yes. bad ever happens in a survival horror game when you pick up a gun mounted suspiciously on a wall on little Yeah, hooks. this is where the whole village attacks and you have to fend yeah. them off. Take the rifle, mark uh, three point, uh, point three oh three mark one. The gun is loaded with simple three, single three oh three ammo. One gun, one shot. Use a match to light the candle? Oh. No, you might need that match. Interesting. Yeah, I guess I have a match. I went a little too fast with picking up some of the stuff before, I guess. Yeah, matches. Yeah, you got three matches. Some three, three, three. three. One lucky coin. 19 shillings. Got a blue <laughs> and a lavender cloth fragment so I can tie up a, a limb. The quality of the I art assets has really increased. <laughs> A lot of, this is a lot of food items. Look at these. Yeah, you gotta learn how to craft, dude. Yeah. You gotta make yourself some foods. I Yummy. love crafting famously in video games. Up, 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 up. Hmm. So this is Prehevel's, at least like slums district or something. It seems like we're on like the outskirts of town. Hmm. Hmm. You can't Probably simultaneously a wield a melee weapon and a ranged weapon. Yeah. That's interesting. So I was it's under probably the... beneficial to have certain characters in your party that have some versus yeah. others. It's just that I was under the impression that, that guns were for out of combat. Even both that description and the guy that shoots at us out of combat. So it being a thing you equip manually is rough because then it means you would start the fight and be holding the gun still. Mm -hmm. The air down here is heavy. Moist and musky. <laughs> Stop, I can only ooh woo so many times. <laughs> huh. Terrible stench oozes from the refrigerator. White vial. There's a trap door, I think. Yeah, it's just open. Yeah. Yeah, that's what it looks like. This is all just Still no so... electricity. It's so interesting to see this game's art specifically in the context of like a quote unquote like modern setting. <laughs> like it's 
really unique to see what looks like so heavily inspired by like old fantasy like berserk art that we got used to yeah. applied to like world war ii like it's really unique another bed but we know beds are bad for several reasons because a, a naked man will attack you before you even get to sleep and then even if you do succeed in sleeping now it's day three you the apocalypse happened i'm hoping the book still exists that like to make that playable then like the books are probably still here somewhere because then you could save without passing time probably oh the the book of enlightenment yeah yeah maybe let's look at the spooky basement is this just going to be the other side of the basement that we that we ran into that we couldn't open the door that'd be interesting <laughs> there's a person yeah there is there's is random that junk the soldier on the boy it looks like it looks like they're wearing overalls could be hmm like a jumpsuit almost the, yeah. uh, the the thing that I've been thinking about is that their giant heads and the modern setting and just like the the, the gameplay loop and so on. Obviously, the actual like the the granular details of the art style are different, but the overall vibes, I they I, I, it takes me back to playing Lone Survivor a bit with those goofy dudes. Oh yeah, definitely. There's someone there. I think there. that is him. Yeah. Hey, are you okay? Boy in army overalls. Uh. <laughs> cool. All right, dude. Are those Me charms too. or talismans? I mean, they might be those eclipse talismans. Yeah. Uh, what's up with that? Oh, how very signalis of you! How very, uh, how very Silent Hill of you! We got a rusty Here's pipe. Rusty hey. pipe. All oh, right. <laughs> gun is more powerful than not guns. <laughs> the, the altar of the new, the gods. new gods. To appease the one the sitting at the great, grand hall, you must put forth a worthy offering. Fascinating. The hunger has Interesting decimal that your places. Hunger I think it doesn't. I think you just like paused it on a weird frame and now you're going to be stuck <laughs> with a decimal point forever. Like why? Wow, meat pie just fills you all the way up. I guess I should maybe yeah. should save it even longer than that. Yeah. Books, the bookshelf and the books have gathered mold in the basement. They're in bad condition. A cold grim wires. Same book again that I've read before, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We've been here before. This I is cool. Uh, I... uh, dang. Uh, oh. Uh, hey, it's a bone saw. How useful. Look at this environmental tutorialization. Oh, I'll also take this hand. Yeah, it's helpful. You never know you need, need to hand. get the circle spear. Yeah. You know, place <laughs> yeah, we gotta collect them all and put them in the ritual spot. Actually. Pray for the new gods given offering? No! Huh. Well, then if I pray, they're gonna be mad at me. Yeah, so don't pray to them yet. I know how this game works. Don't, you can't <laughs> trick me, game. Was that a. It looked like he had a wiener. Nope. No, a that's a pipe. Got it. He's gonna lay some pipes. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's see. Man, you're getting lucky. Vodka. Two I, can't bottles. Go, I, can't, I can't go in front of the shelf. It's impossible. <laughs> Scrap metal. Scrap on metal. Top. What are they keeping in this room? Skin, Skin Bible, Bible. The chapter, chapter. of rare. <laughs> what? What did you just say? It's the me? Necronomicon. Moon, look at this moon face. This is, is wild. So that's rare. Yeah, Raher, the, the trickster god. Very much like the sun, the moon is one of the primordial entities, and thus it has lore and beliefs written since the dawn of time. This makes it difficult to separate facts from fiction, and mad ramblings from hidden truths. Consistent details among the myriad stories seem to hint of a god called Raher. Also known as the Trickster God and the Moon God. In the most ancient writings of Raher is depicted as the uh, or in the most ancient writings, Raher is depicted as the god of the insane and those who've succumbed to the madness. 
His blessing to men is his moonlight, which is said to uncover the truth under the human filth, a truth that is often too much for a human mind to handle. Yeah, so he's going to Ludwig all of us. <laughs> it can't be debated whether his version of the truth is more accurate than that of the human filth. Unlike many of the older gods, Raher's part in the greater scheme of things remains a mystery. Just looking at the night sky, you can see his presence in an eternal slumber. This makes his secrecy even more infuriating. He's literally hiding in plain sight. The mark of Raher raises the maximum capacity of the mind. The text includes the sigil of the Raher and, and instructions on how to use it. Okay, so there's a reward. If you get this book, you can use it, the information from it at one of those like circles. You Some can, like, circle you can like, finish things, it probably, to give yeah. yourself a mind up upgrade. Yeah, interesting. I would say go to the... Yeah. It's not here right now, so I want to check. But... Where'd he go? Did he go right? Uh, I think he walked to the left. I'm nervous. I find it interesting how specific it is that we were lured into this by pe by people suggesting that it was kind of like pathologic, which we've questioned. But then, then the sequel is doing stuff in, akin to like Majora's Mask, which we also very much specifically love. Lucky coin. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, like I've heard I've heard things about this game uh, uh, about Termina specifically that like do bring pathologic more to mind than than the first one did. Yeah. Uh, and like it just it seems like a more polished product that people <laughs> No <laughs> What a time to get stuck on that terrain. That took me by oh. surprise. Yeah, no, I didn't like that. <laughs> uh, that completely Alright, well is it this happening? Changed my you, cannot, you cannot juke train people. Of thought. Since they can move diagonally now, you cannot juke people. You're so yeah, fucked. that's hard. All right, well, uh, I, I'm trapped on the side of him, so running is pointless. Yep, you got to kill one of them. Boom! My pipe is better. <laughs> These villagers in their traps. We just got to do the same thing that we did last time. Rev up. Oh, rev up again. Now he's double increased his attack. Headshot. Now, oh. okay. So I guess if he has any arms, then he defends himself, and it counts as a miss. Possibly, yeah. Or maybe it was the leg wound I did last time. I'm not sure. Okay. I think yeah, heads maybe, are just what? hard to hit. Like yeah. I they think they 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 just have a much higher. I previously capacity. only only hit it after I. Double attack. Fuck, stop it. There we go. Marco is victorious. I'm not entirely sure. Like, limb damage does not always equal health damage, does it? No, it doesn't. You're, the things that you need to do oh, to kill people Oh, you can people always are... take people's severed limbs now when you, take, when you cut them off. That's interesting. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so, I guess this is something you won't have known but you so limbs have separate health bars than bodies and heads removing yeah. the body or the head will kill the person but cutting off their limbs does not necessarily equate to death so if you can if you know you can deal like a hefty amount of damage to a body sometimes it's worth it to just do that to get them out of the fight as opposed to you know individually cutting off all their legs um, after you've already disabled their their arms like combat in this game is more about minimizing damage than it is about avoiding it entirely and like uh removing the ability for an enemy to you just do stuff skip the fights entirely <laughs> yeah. you could have just ran upstairs what are you doing i wasn't ready for him you gotta just immediately run to the exit. Oh no! I wasn't ready for oh, him no. at all. Was he? <laughs> wow, you're, you really, you're gonna be trapped. He really knows where I am right now. Just gonna, just gonna go. Just gonna go down here real quick. Just gonna see if he resets. If I go down here, he won't reset. Enemies I, stay where they. 
I didn't have time to react. It came out of nowhere. He's so fast. You you got to get those reaction speeds up, Keith, or else I you're going to be a sitting duck. I reacted to Scream Lady. You're going you're gonna to get wrecked by the man I blocking the, the, the stairway for you, Keith. I escaped the Scream Lady just fine with my giant cool escape brain. <laughs> uh, do I have a bear trap? <laughs> uh, weapon, armor, body bag. Items. It would be in items, I think. Booby trap. That's a mine. Yeah. Oh, he doesn't come down here. Cool. Don't step I, on that. It will yeah. explode. <laughs> I don't think I can take it. Pick it back up. You can't. Fuck. Well, this is a good time to experiment. Uh... Oh, right. You can all equip stuff here. Uh, optimize. Okay. You never really used one of these, but you've seen enough soldiers cock their bolt action rifle and know how it's done. The rifle feels pretty natural against your shoulder as you look down the iron sights. Uh, this button? You shoot the arm of the villager. Markers out of ammo. Well, <laughs> didn't kill him. No, don't equip the empty gun again, you dick. <laughs> uh,. Yeah, I really wanted to use a bear trap and put and throw him to it, but apparently he's just gonna stop right there, which is really rude. Okay. No, wrong arm too. Whatever. Aha. Just go for his body. Eh. Your torso is about to get tortled. Oh, fuck. There we go. Marco's victorious. Don't believe. Don't. Do you have my health back? Can I have my health back from you, dick? So, Booby Trap <laughs> was a good plan, but the game fucked me a bit. <laughs> Oh, and this is where the lady chased me, right? Yes. This, we've looped back around. Where the fuck is she? Is she still on the right, maybe? <laughs> maybe she yeah, is. Yeah, that's wherever she deactivated, that's where she is. That means that, ne that means that next time when I try to go left first, because I'm like, oh, that's the right way to go, <laughs> I'll just screw myself because she'll come after me. Yeah, very possible. I think she's waiting in the middle because she didn't aggro until you got close to the middle. So yeah, but I was I went I was all the way at the meat before she aggroed. So I was I was like walking yeah. from the middle to the left at that point. An old yeah. wooden cart seems to have been in constant use for decades, judging by the old detrition. I don't know that word, so I'm not even gonna guess how it's, if it was I, used. I right think. Or not. I think I don't think it's used right, but I think it's he's meant to say uh, due to all the damage it has taken. So we can go left up there. Box. Ah. This game feels like I sh that D-pad should be comfy, but Xbox D-pads kind of suck. And there's a weird like sometimes you go diagonally and sometimes you collide with stuff weird that makes the D-pad navigation not as nice <laughs> as you thought it would be. But the joystick definitely doesn't feel better, so... Just something about the movement. Gotta get you one of those nice 8-bit do-pads. I'll get just, you one of the Sega Saturn controllers. Just gotta, just, gotta give, just gotta rig this game up so I can play it with a Game Boy Advance. Just via Link Man, cable. imagine fear and hunger on a Game Boy Advance. You hear distant screams and ramblings. You are not alone. Never have been. And you, can, you could probably make that work. Maybe. I mean, you on only really hand need two buttons in the original, so... It has to backfire eventually, right? <laughs> it would be funny just to give someone a verb that they can use over and over again through the whole game and it never pays off. Lavender again. Simple luck. The sign says closed until tomorrow. Not with my powers! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Oi. Oi. Just what do you think you're doing, barging in like that? We're closed today. Come back tomorrow. But if I wait till tomorrow, you'll be a wolf and bust out your window. 
Anyway, I'm just gonna keep walking in and fucking with your stuff. Random shop goods are left here. They seem to be goods for everyday life, so they don't really help you in this particular situation. You know, everyday life, like bandages and food. And tools, what hit people with. Wear clothes today, come back tomorrow. So rude.